be doing comprehensive to major drain cleaning after the training has been completed on a daily basis. Some would say, well, the city shouldn't flood, but we dare to say that, yes, we will still have flooding in some areas, but you will then be able to gauge within a reasonable time to see how then the mitigation aspect falls into place and how quickly the water drains off or runs off from our city streets and other areas across the city. You're testing it out today. Talk to us about, are you satisfied with the work that it's doing? Yes, um, extremely. When we took up that manhole cover there, this, the sludge was up to the, to the street. By the time we have concluded this morning's exercise, we've been able to clear um, about, I'll say, under 10 yards or thereabout before the corner of the lane. So that's, that is impress impressive to me because manpower alone wouldn't have been able to accomplish that feat that we overcame there this morning in terms of clearing the drain. I was brief and our mayoral candidate told me there's a fan down there. So we need to get that fan out. Um, we don't know what we'll be finding in these covered drains and manhole covers and so forth, but it is our responsibility to get it out. What is basically or generally in our drains? Debris, dirt, garbage, waste, sand. It builds up over time, it turns mud, it gets hard. So what we'll do, once it's vacuumed out, there's a separator in there. So the garbage and the waste that goes in there, that will go to the transfer station. The water can be drained off anywhere and then from there it goes over to the transfer station. So for the time being, we'll be dumping in the open area across from the transfer station to the left. When the, the, the dirt or the garbage or the waste dries out, then we carry it over to the transfer station. This vehicle comes with a, um, a computer a technology capacity to diagnose itself. So we can troubleshoot from the um, brain piece in the front and the interior of the truck and then from there we could communicate to GenTrack and the, um, the company in Florida to facilitate us with parts and that, and that type of thing. Or, or maybe they come back in country and assist us. When you see this truck in your area or community, respect this truck. Let's take heed from the personnel who are operating the truck. You will be seeing cones coding off the areas. You will see cash and tape. The, the power of this vehicle to suck and blow or flush out the PSI is I think well above 3,000 that's that's a whole lot of power and you wouldn't want to be flushing out a drain and you have people or vehicle property or life around the vicinity of the vehicle and then you, you create harm or damage so we would like to mitigate against that so